this is Mark, and this is my journey through tarot, but you're more than welcome to come along, so let's get on it. Okay, this is a, a reading that I try to do as part of several readings. Let me make Ellie be quiet. I've got her on the uh, on the uh, TV here, and I need to uh, pause her so I can do my own video. But anyway, um, so try to do this in one big long video with four people in it, and it didn't work out. It wouldn't load up to YouTube. Don't know what's going on. The gods were saying this isn't the one that you need to do. So here's, I guess you could call it number two of uh, those four maybe five videos now the first one was alan uh, weiselberg which i've already posted for friday um this one will be uh ivanka which i think will go up on saturday and then we're going to do donnie J. then we're going to do mama trump okay this video is going to be ivanka because they're barreling in on one of them they're going to barrel it barrel in on all of them if one's guilty i think they're all guilty so Hermetic Tarot, this is a very severe uh, deck here. It's based on the esoteric workings of the secret order of the Golden Dawn. Who are the Golden Dawn? and Why are they a secret order? Well, when these cards were developed in more modern times, uh, as, as opposed to, you know, the 15th century, it was a question of um, the various members uh, being encouraged to develop uh, tarot cards that were to their own taste. And so that's what they did, and this is one of those that has survived. And uh, so the good thing about these cards is that, well, there's, there's, they have lots of hints on them as to how you should read them, but they're pretty severe cards. They're not uh, very forgiving, uh, I find. So let's see uh, if this, how this is going to work out for Sister Ivanka. And um, so we'll see how that goes. Now, sadly, in my own family, I have a niece by marriage who has actually named her recently born a uh, daughter uh, after this uh, woman and I don't know where their heads are at they're big they're big 45 fans this part of the family and um, I just don't get it but anyway that poor child she's gonna be reading the history books about the crimes of this uh, insane uh, uh, family and then realize that uh, she's named after one of them you know come on well what can you do so here we go this is uh, for Ivanka let's see what happens with her. We're going to take six cards right away. And then we'll finish off. And make, Oh, wow. I don't want these cards that, that showed up that way. One, two, three, four, five, and six. If those cards are important, they'll come up again in another part of this reading. So we're going to see what is a signifier card for Miss Ivanka. So this is the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups is described in this uh, Toth deck, the Hermetic uh, Tarot, uh, as Lord, which is, you know, the boss, Lord of Abandoned Success. <laughs> that seems very appropriate. So she's the, the king, she's the emperor, she's the lord, she's the empress of Abandoned Success. Sounds uh, pretty appropriate. Now the uh, challenge to being the Lord of Abandoned Success is um, the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles is trying to hold on to what you've got. And in this uh, description here, they say that this is the Lord of Earthly Power. Oh, yeah. You're trying to hold on to all those worldly goods that you uh, cherish. Oh, oh, oh. And by the way, you're a freedom. So that's the uh, challenge to uh, abandoning, being the king of abandoning success, is trying to hold on to your earthly power. The basis of this reading, then, for Ivanka is the uh, sun. It's, the, it's bright. It's shining, and she has certainly been the one that the sun has shone on uh, throughout uh, her, her entire life. And so this card is described as the Lord of the Fire of the World. Lord of the Fire of the World. So, you know, like the king of the brightness in the entire, uh, your whole universe. The um, uh, recent past for Ivanka and this uh, thing, oh my God, I just mentioned the universe, and this card is the universe. So this is a major arcana. This is 21. This is the final story. The great one of the night of time. The great one of the night of time. Let's think about that. For, so this is, a, she's a great 
person uh, ruling over the darkness of time. Wow, enough said. Uh, the sky in this reading then is the chariot. This thing's coming on quickly. And this is the Lord of the Triumph of Light. And I think she better watch out for the Lord of the Triumph of Light, the chariot. Things coming on quickly, and you're not going to stop them. And then the likely outcome for this first part of this, what's going to be a Celtic cross, is uh, the Empress, the Daughter of the Mighty Ones. Jeez, this is almost spooky. The Daughter of the Mighty Ones. Yeah, that sounds about right. Now let's go ahead in here and find out what else is uh, in store for Miss Ivanka. Okay, the self, the self of Ivanka right now is the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands in this uh, deck is described as the Lord of Great Strength. And yeah, this is she's been through battles. She is going to go through more battles her whole life. It, you know, I guess it's a good thing for her that she's got such a cushy life for so much of, of the time because the, the what she is right now is uh, having to draw all on of, of her strength. But the, what is that in the environment of? That's in the environment of the Eight of Wands. And, uh, you know, that's things happening fast and rapidly. So, Okay, so what's happened is my I've taped this overhead stuff from a, uh, an old uh, cell phone and it ran out of storage uh, as I was... Uh, doing the reading it ran out here on the eight of wands so i'm just going to repeat this and splice it all together and maybe you won't know anything and i'll even cut out this explanation or um maybe i'll just leave it in but anyway so the cards the last cards that i dealt that didn't get recorded luckily were right here on the table so i just need to finish it off so the environment she was in was the eight of wands things happening swiftly okay the hopes and the fears were the lovers which is making partnerships um and Clearly, I mean, she must be flipping. And then the Hierophant is the final outcome. That's the government. The Hierophant is the government. And uh, that's the Magus of Eternal Gods. This was the children of the Voice Divine. And so the lovers, where she's making, uh, flipping over, making partnerships, I guess, with the government. And then the Hierophant is the final outcome. The government is the final outcome in this reading. So that was a very interesting reading for Ivanka. And uh, it started out with her as the... Um, Eight of Cups, walking away from something that was very important to her. It was uh, challenged by uh, the Four of Pentacles, trying to hang on to what you got. The whole reading was so relevant uh, for Ivanka in this respect. Um, and then uh, the self of her was the Lord of Great Strength. Uh, this is the uh, Nine of Wands, really uh, having been through the battle. And then uh, that was in the environment of the Eight of Wands, which is uh, really everything coming on fast. That was the, then the hopes and the fears of that was the lovers' partnership. So she must be making a partnership with who? The government, I guess. And then the final outcome for this one was who else but the Hierophant, which is the government. Well, I'm Mark. This is My Journey Through Tarot. I'm having a blast with this reading, and I've got two more to do. I'm going to do uh, Donnie J and Mama T. So let's see how that goes. Listen, you know, I do this every day. So you can come back tomorrow, and we'll make another trip. Ciao for now.